I realize it's been a couple of weeks since I've done anything to this radio. The old uh, Philco 46480 I've been working on. I haven't done anything to it in the last couple of weeks. It's been too hot and humid to get out here. And tonight it's still pretty humid. But I wanted to show you a couple other things I've been working on here a little bit. I went down to Louisville here before the truck broke down. The transmission went out on the truck and I had to take it to the shop to get it fixed. I, it was one time I, I, I couldn't fix it myself. Reverse was gone and second gear was gone and all it would go into was was uh, from first to third and I had I, I managed to drive it up to the shop and get it fixed and it was seventeen hundred and ninety dollars and ten cents to get that thing fixed so it will be a while after I after I get th this next after I get this Philco done it might be a while before I can afford to do any other radio work <laughs> <clears throat> but the day it broke down or the day the transmission went out fortunately I was almost back to the house when it started messing up I had been down to Louisville Kentucky and I picked me up a Zenith Transoceanic H500 let me see there I didn't realize I had the camera zoomed in. I've cleaned it up some, cleaned all the dust off of it and everything, and polished the brass up some on it and whatnot. And all in all, I think it's come out looking pretty good. Now, I don't know if somebody has restored this in the past, but it's pretty. There's not hard there's not a scratch on the dial. It's just as just as sharp as it can be. The place I went to down in Louisville and got it is called the Magnetic Tape and Stereo Center. And they had it for sale on eBay, but they wanted twenty five dollars to ship it. Well I said, shoot, I can drive down to Louisville and back on five dollars worth of gas. So <laughs> I just did that and saved twenty dollars there. But, like I say, I mean, it's just clean as a whistle. I will take it apart at some point and see if it still has the old selenium rectifier in it. And if it does, I will get that thing changed. But if I turn it on here, the sound on it is excellent, I think. <laughs> WSLM on AM trying to do this while holding the camera and tuning it at the same time I come out here at night time so I can see if I can get some shortwave on it too this is just the AM band here I've got it kind of dark out here because I got all the fluorescent lights off and I just have the little old regular incandescent light bulbs turned on. It's got a little little haze on the thing because it's been inside the house and I brought it out here. 
That's the only reason that looked hazy for a moment, but I just wiped that off. So. I'll show you how clear that dial is. Now we'll try some short wave here. Let's see if I can set this camera over here. I'm not even going to put it on a tripod. I'm just going to kind of set it over here on this and zoom in just a little bit. Turn around. We'll see what we can pick up. This is the four to eight kilocycle band. skip or something on it. A lot of preaching on this on this band. Sound like the same guy. When we put on the mind of Christ. And there he is again. <laughs> well we'll go to the two to four megacycles. I suppose I could put the antenna, the way to make the antenna up, that might help. I can get it up. Can't grab hold of it. <laughs> It says morning band, and this is awful early in the morning. It's about 10 minutes till 3. I didn't really expect to hear anything on it. This one says all day. The 19 meter band. Let me 
appear to be a whole lot here either. And yeah, I'm tuning it kind of fast, but with the 25 liter band. I'm just trying to see if I pick up any strong signals. Nothing too strong, anyway. Of course, I don't have that antenna fully extended here in this garage as high as it's sitting. I can't extend it fully. Here's the 31 meter band then. Not a whole lot, but now I can come out during the day and pick up stuff on this 31 meter band. So I don't know. I guess it just depends on what time of the day you're up and what you pick up on things. But I'll go back to the broadcast band here. Go through it a little bit slower. For that, I can put this whip antenna back down. I don't know what has become of WHAS. I can't hardly pick it up on any radio anymore. I mean, it used to be a really strong, strong station. And I, I used to complain about that old radio in the house there, my 33 Philco not being able to pick up WHAS. Well, this is a strong picking up radio. I'm outside. There's no interference out here. And it's not picking it up either, so... Don't really. That might be it there. Yeah, that's it. Coast to coast with George Norrie. Goofy stuff. I don't know what these stations are. If we get back up to WSLM at 1220. I don't know what, where that is. But. You can always tell when you're back up at WSLM. Clear as a bell. These all work. Not sure what station that is either, but that's a good song. Old House of the Rising Sun. Anyhow, let me take it back down to WSL. back up. Now, the back side, if I can get her turned around here. Let me pull it 
forward a little bit so that'll lay down. All that I'm missing back here is the extra antenna wire. Oops. <laughs> All that I'm missing back here is the extra antenna wire that goes here to be able to hook that wave magnet antenna up. Like if you sent a steel building or something, you'd attach these suction cups to the back of it. Of course, they're hard as a rock. I've got a reproduction in owner's manual for it and it's got one of those stickers in it that goes up here to tell who it belongs to and their address and stuff and it came with a, a big schematic in it. I, now I don't have a, the battery thing for it, I, um, the battery pack. I might try to get one of those in the future here. The one that takes They've got some that take a, a bunch of D cells and they got some that take about 30 double A's. The 30 double A ones last a lot longer than the D cells. I might end up doing that. But it's clean as a whistle inside. And sounds excellent, no distortion or anything. But I, I do want to see if it's got that selenium rectifier, but as far as the caps and stuff in it go until it develops a hum or something I'm just going to leave this be now other things that I have been doing besides getting that truck worked on let me plug in the lights here again where I can I haven't actually done anything yet but I bought stuff I picked up well, I did get that repainted. I haven't got it back together yet because, like I say, it's just been hot and humid out here and everything. There's the, the transformer and the clamshells. But over here, huh, got me some air conditioner recharger for the truck there. And down in here, I've got... See, so got that there, and over here, there's a one of these surge protectors, and in here I've got 14 gauge wire. Went over to Ace Hardware and got me some 14 gauge wire and hmm, some more shrink, ho shrink tubing. That's where my coke went the other day. <laughs> There's some uh, metallic paint for the chassis. Outlet. junction box or outlet box whatever you want to call it I don't want to take all that stuff and wire it up to the old fuse box over here I say fuse box I don't mean breaker box I mean fuse box <laughs> I'll wire it in and run me wire up and across over here and down here so I can have the electric over on this bench here too without having to run extension cords all the way over yonder there. Let me see this thing here. There we are. Huh. It's old. <laughs> but it, it does work. You just have to give it a little shake once in a while when it hasn't been on for a while. But that's pretty much where it stands right now and yeah the place is a wreck I've got to clean it up and I'll do that should be Sunday night I'll get out here and start cleaning and then I'll get out here too and start working on this radio again because it'll finally be cool enough and not so humid 
but I can get get stuff done. It's supposed to be down in the 60s and low humidity, and that's the temperature I love to work at. So until then, this is Gary signing off.